the next thing we're going to do is set up a few different pages. Uh, our PTA has a whole bunch of information on our website. These are the default pages, but we're going to add a whole bunch more. So the first thing I'm going to do is going back to our uh, admin side, and we're going to go to pages here. And let's go ahead and list our pages by clicking on the pages thing and take a look at what we've got. We've just got these five pages that are default. Um, so I'm going to add a whole bunch of new pages here. And we don't have to spend a whole lot of time focusing on the content at this point. The important part with this right now is just getting all these laid out so that we can set up our menus and our subcategories and things like that. So let's go ahead and just start adding stuff without adding much content. Business sponsors. Okay, and that's going to be a main category thing. So we're just going to go ahead and publish that for now. We'll come back in later on and add content and images and that kind of thing. But for now, we're just going to build this stuff up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep adding some new stuff. So we've got business sponsors. That's going to be the listing of all of our businesses. Then we're going to under business sponsors in that same category, but we want to make a sub menu of it. Let's go ahead and add a new page. And we're going to call this a business sponsor application. Now in this one, we've got this parent over here. And if we don't put a parent on, it's going to put it in the main menu. So let's take a look at this real quick and we'll see business sponsors when we reload right here. Now we want this to show up underneath business sponsors and there's actually two ways of doing this but we're gonna organize it the correct way. Wait, so the parent of that is actually gonna be business sponsors and that way it will show up underneath that. So now we're gonna hit publish. Now if we click on business sponsors you're gonna see another one called business sponsor application underneath it. So you can see we've nested that underneath it. It's a subcategory. So let's go back in. We're gonna add another one. Um, we allow our business sponsors to apply online, so that's the application right there. We also allow them to upload their artwork uh, directly to the website to save us time. So why don't we add called business sponsor artwork uploads, and we're going to make that under business sponsors also. We'll hit publish. And then the final one, just in case they applied but didn't get to pay at that point, we're going to make another page called business sponsor payments. And that will also be under business sponsors. And this will allow for a payment right there on the website. So we'll go ahead and publish that. Now, if we look at our stuff right now, it's not going to look great, but it'll show us at least that we've got our three things under business sponsors. So let's keep moving on with a couple more things um, that we want to have in the Micklejohn uh, setup. So the next thing I want to do is to create a page for information. It's contacting us, getting information about us, etc., things like that. So first thing we'll do is we're going to add a new page and this one's going to be called PTA info and it's going to be a parent page I want that on the main page so we'll leave that blank for now we'll hit publish there we go and now we want to use contact us as one of the options so okay we've already got a contact us so let's go back into the pages we were just in here's the contact us let's hit edit and what we're going to do is we're just going to assign this to that parent so let's go down to PTA info so it's going to be under that now. And let's click visual so we can edit this here. And we don't really need a whole lot of this. Let's just get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Actually, we can leave the name and address. And we'll get rid of this. And I don't need that picture. All right, so we'll just put it at that. And we'll go ahead and update it here. And now if we go back to our pages, you'll see that we have PTA info. And then contact us. We actually already had an info category and we could keep using that one, but instead I just changed it there. So we can go ahead and get rid of this one. So let's just hit trash on that. All right, so now we have the contact us under that. Now with our PTA, we've got a bunch of different options for how they can contact us. So what I want to do with this is we're just gonna make the contact us all by itself, just have the address. So let's go ahead and edit this and we'll do that and just put the address in and update this. Now what we do is we have the ability to email us. So let's make a new one here. And this is going to be a sub sub category or a sub sub page. I'm going to make this one called email the PTA. And we want this one to be underneath contact us. So we'll hit publish here. And if we go back and look at this, we now will have PTA info, contact us, email the PTA. So let's go back and look at our pages here real quick so you can see what's going on. So we have PTA info, contact us, email the PTA. Okay, now we're going to add another one under contact us called submit news. And what we do is we require that people submit the content for their news on our e weekly emails as well as our monthly PDF news. 
um, we require them to submit that online for us so it's in the correct format that we want. So we're going to also have under contact us submit news. So we'll publish that. And then under there, we have two different categories. So there's the monthly newsletter. So let's make that one. Add new. And this is going to go right under submit news. So we'll have submit news and then submit monthly newsletter news. That will be under submit news. We'll publish that. And then our emails go out on Tuesdays. So this one is going to be called Submit Tuesday Email News. And this is also going to go under Submit News. I'll publish that. Now if we go back and refresh this page again, you're going to see under PTA Info, Contact Us, and then we have Email the PTA or Submit News, and then here's your two options. So we've got that set up. Now we've got a couple more things we want to put under PTA Info. So one of the things I want to do is have the ability to upload documents. So let's just call this PTA Documents. And this is going to go under PTA Info. And this will be a place where we can put things like building use agreements and reimbursement forms and things like that. So we'll publish that. And then we're also going to create another one. Still again under PTA Info. And this one's going to be a listing of our board members. So we'll put our board members there. And then we will put this under PTA Info and publish. And then the last thing we're going to do is a promotional page. Um, because we feel like a lot of people don't quite know what the PTAs and PTOs do. So this one's just going to be called, so what does the PTA do for Michael John? And we're going to put that under info as well. And we'll publish that. All right, so now if we go back to our pages, we'll see we have all these things under info now that will help us. And if we go back here and refresh, and we go under info, you'll see we've got the contact us, we've got documents, board members, etc. Now again, these are going to change, but I'm creating, we are creating all these pages right now so that we can't change them. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is a thing that we just started doing on the Michael John PTA site, and this is all about explaining what it is that we do. So I'm going to create a new page here, and it's going to be called PTA Programs Giving and Events. And I've actually got a little bit of content written here, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in, paste that in there. And this is going to be a main page. It's going to be its own menu item, so we're not going to assign a parent to it. So we'll go ahead and publish that. And then I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through and I'm going to start listing some of the things that we've done as a PTA. I'm going to go ahead and put the content in as well just to save some time. Okay, so at this point we've added just a whole bunch of uh, pages about some of the extra stuff that the PTA does. We haven't actually done the meat and potatoes of it all yet, but we've added some of the extra stuff and you can see it in here now. Um, and actually, if you want to see more things, one of the tips you can do up here under Screen Options, click that. Let's change this to like a hundred pages just to make it easier to read it all. And we can actually get rid of some of the things too. So if we don't need, for example, let's let it load again here. Screen options, we can take off comments. We can even take off this robot's meta that's unimportant to what we're doing. You might want to leave authors so you know who did it and then we'll hit apply. It'll be a little bit easier to read. All right, so now if we scroll down, you can see we've got PTA program giving an events, additional PTA programs, and then all the things we just added. So what we're going to do now is we're going to keep adding a couple more things, but I want to talk about a couple of the reasons why we're doing things with you as we create them. Um, so the next thing I'm going to add is after school enrichment. So let's make a page for after school enrichment. We're not going to add the content yet, but we'll at least create the structure so that we have a way to do all this. So we're going to make an after school enrichment. That's going to be um, not a parent. Its parent is going to be the PTA programs but it will be the secondary category after that. And we'll go ahead and publish that. Now one of the things we're going to do is we're going to try to make this as simple as possible actually. So why don't we go ahead and actually I'm going to show you just this one example and then we'll speed it up again and show you the rest of them. Um, but I will add a little bit of content here. So we're going to take this. I've got some content already prepared. Paste this in just to give you an idea of where this is. Go ahead and hit update here. And if we go back and again these menus are going to change dramatically but if we go in here refresh the page. We will now have after school enrichment. Click on that and you'll see where the content is going to go. We're going to put this content up at the top and there will be more content down below but I would recommend keeping this uh, top content on all of these items as general as possible. Don't put specific dates in or you're going to have to change it all around. Um, put the specific dates in on the pages that need it but on the pages that are just general information go ahead and leave it general so you don't have to update it every year. So what we're going to do now is we've got this after school enrichment page, but we're actually going to create another page beyond that. And this is where we can be a little more specific. Fall 2011 class descriptions. And we won't put those in yet, but we're going to put it, 
we're going to file it here under After School Enrichment. And we'll hit Publish. And then we're also going to create another page. So that one we just created is going to be for the class descriptions. Now we're going to create another page. So we'll click Add New. And this one will actually be for signing up for After School Enrichment. And if you've got a Premium Plus plan, you could even have people make their payments right at this point, um, which we'll get into in another video. So here's the page for signing up for After School Enrichment. Again, we're going to file it under After School Enrichment and publish it. And the last thing we're going to do, because we're always in need of this, we're going to create a page called Volunteer for After School Enrichment. And we'll make that under After School Enrichment as well. And we'll publish. Now we can do this on just about anything. So what I'm going to do is I am going to speed the tape up again and I'm going to go through and I'm going to create more things. But you'll notice as I'm creating them, I'll be creating things like the Fall Carnival. And then we'll have a couple different pages underneath that that can constantly change. But the Fall Carnival page will always remain the same. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I'll be back in just a little bit once I've completed the rest of these pages. Okay, so we've completed the last one in the uh, major events. There's a couple other things we're going to add, but I want to slow it down here for a second. Just let you refresh. Take a look at this. Once again, to remind you, the menus are going to change, but this is going to give you an idea of what we've added here. So we've got all these different things that have been added here. Um, and we'll make this look a lot nicer, but this is what's going on. So now, one of the things that I would highly recommend doing as a PTA or a PTO is really promoting what you do. So we've got all these activities and events that we do um, that we've already put in here, and they're real great. But there's a couple things that we also do, like special giving and special events and assemblies for the kids that you should really try to promote as a PTA. So we're going to also create a new page in here, and it's going to go underneath the PTA giving page, the main page that we had. And this one's going to be called Giving and Grants Made by the PTA. And we're going to put this under PTA Programs, Giving and Events. And we'll put content in there again later on. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make a list of all the things that we've done and we're going to put them underneath that. So let's make a new page. So we'll do add new again. We'll just start listing off the things we've done in grants. And we'll put the content in a little bit, but we'll just go ahead and put all this stuff in for now. All right, so now we have all those in there. Now the PTA also does assemblies and events, and we bring authors and different people in to speak to the student body. So let's make a section for that as well. So we'll go add new. And we'll call this one PTA Events and Assemblies. And we're going to put this one under PTA Programs Giving and Events. So it's going to be a subcategory. We'll go ahead and publish that. And then it's just list out a couple of things we did for that. So we have uh, author Phil Thomas came in and spoke to the kids. Mark Ludy came in and spoke. And Sneed B. Collard came in. And then we had Steve Spangler Science come in. Okay, so at this point we've got a whole bunch of different events and activities and all the things that the PTA does to make the school better at this point, all listed. We don't have any content in there yet, but we've created all the pages, and the reason we're doing that is so that we can create all of our menus and submenus later on. Okay, now that we have that, we're also going to add in our fundraising stuff. So let's go ahead and add some new pages in here. We'll make a page just for the general fundraising itself. And we'll make that a main page so there's no parent. We'll go ahead and publish that. And then we'll list out a couple of things that we do. So we have an e-cycling program that generates income for the PTA. Put that under fundraising. We do King Supers cards, the local supermarket. That goes under fundraising. We do the target red card, and that doesn't actually benefit the PTA directly, but goes, does go straight to the school. So that counts in our book. And then the last thing we have is the ebook or the entertainment book. And we'll publish that. Okay, so now if we go back here again, we'll have kind of a messed up window, but it should show our fundraising now. Yep. And all of this. We also have a couple elements that we've already got built in. So we have the join, and we'll change this around, but right now it's already got the pre-built form, and we also have the volunteer. And these are just the forms that were here by default, and we'll address those later on.